Oh boy. So we're two dogs on the road. I'm bleeding from my wrist. We found David. Alright, David's on the team now. I think David just sent me a message too. So, uh, David's here now. There's no way it's gonna be any better than for him. Maybe you're right, but it might be the best choice we have. Alright. So, why is David here? <laughs> God, I think I'm, I'm still slightly bleeding from my wrist. And I don't really like that. I feel like it was a, it was, it was a paper cut, but... I don't know what, what, I, I, I mean, I, I wasn't exactly going around with, like, construction paper today. I was passing sticky notes around to people, though, so, uh, I don't know, maybe I got, like, the most intense paper cut ever. Hey, look, Alan's happy, so, oh, five bandits ambushed the group while they were about to sneak into a zombie-infested house. The bandits speak in a half-whisper, afraid to attract on that attention. They say to hand them over some supplies or they'll yell. Wow, um, well, we don't have 10 food, if I, alright, I don't think that we could get killed, last time I tried to oppose bandits, well, let's just say, Sox is killed and Seven is killed, ah, so, uh, yeah, I'll call bluff, let's just do that, Alan calls the bandits bluff, the bandits were all talk and don't make a sound when their bluff is called, the group goes back to the car and the bandits creep away. Yeah! Wait, did I did it just say Alan calls out the bluff? Angel! Ah! Angel's here! Whoa, it's Angel, it's nice to see him there. He's kicking a chair car in frustration. The car is emitting plumes of smoke. Aw, oh, yeah, he has a mysterious pass. I forgot about that. The group accepts Angel to the team. Alright, we have Angel now, guys. Alright, we're gonna be tired tomorrow. But now we know that Angel sucks at mechanics, so the more you know, am I right? And now everyone's tired. Okay. And the cars run out of gas. Well, I can't wait to get, like, destroyed by... Like, what? Wait, hold on. The group is robbed by weak bandits. The bandits are of a kind that would normally not be a problem if the group had a car or wasn't tired from walking all day. The bandits nervously demand the remainder of food and a quarter of the ammo and medical supplies. Uh... Sox is killed and Seven is killed! Uh... Ah! Uh, I, we, that's everything, okay? Alright, fight them, fight them. The group is tired and caught in the open as they fight. It's fortunate that these bandits aren't that dangerous. After a short fight, they run, and we're all hurt. Oh, the group is ambushed while crossing a rickety bridge. The bandits demand a toll to cross. They want all your food in a corner? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna die. We're just gonna have to give them stuff. The group decides to play it safe. Wow. While walking along the road, Alan's dog spots a gas station. Alright, not a lot there, blah, blah, blah. Alright, we found a car. We found a car. Sweet jump. Dave, everyone's morale increased. We're all slightly happy, even though we're all gonna starve to death. <laughs> Just run fast. Grab all the food. We need it. What's in here? Is it food? It's not food. Alright. Alright. Oven. Food. Food, 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 food. Junk. That's not food. Grab that. What's that? It's a box. What's in the fridge? Food. Yeah, shoot the zombie. Grab food. That's oil. We're almost to Canada. They all. Wait, it has a big tree lying across. It looks like someone cut it to block the road. Could take a group of strong people to move it safely. You could take a detour, lift the tree, or plow through. People can die lifting trees. I know that. So I'm gonna have to say, take a detour, please. The group decides to take a detour. This is usually a bad idea. It takes some extra time and gas, but not too much. All right, we did it, guys. Now, are we in Canada yet? Oh, all right, we're in. Open for business. The owner wrings her hands. Oh, what? Give me ten food. I'll watch over you while you sleep. <sighs> She's super creepy. An angel can scream. Say it. Don't spread it. Um. I feel like Angel might get murdered because she's super creepy. But, you know, Angel, come on. I I got it. Oh, all right. The group tells the woman to say it, not spread Yeah, You must be a big shot. I'll show you the presidential suite. She kicks the group out. Well, uh, turns out Angel's wits and attitude isn't very good. And now we're all tired. Okay, good. Great job, Angel. Ooh, got frustrated because the CD player in the car is jammed playing the same song over and over again. Who should try to repair it? 
Obviously, Angel. Angel tells everyone to cool it, and it doesn't help at all. And it, the CD player remains broken and annoying. Wow, Angel, you just, you really just suck. An enormous army of undead shambles around the carnage that surrounds the border to Canada. Many have tried to get through. Most only succeeded in having their bodies added to the horde. Maybe your team will be different. This is the last chance to trade. Good luck, you have- Uh-oh. Guys, we're at the end. Oh my god. Oh, is this- There is the- Wait, hold on, is that- Oh. Hi, be kind to animals. You look like someone. <laughs> Hello? The group meets a man who's carrying many swords. Alright. One day I'll make the finest zombie slicing sword I've ever seen. I just have to figure out how to make swords first. Angel can tell him to cool it or leave him. Angel, you just, yeah, why not? We want a sword. Angel tells the Blade Master to cool it. The Blade Master ignores this. He starts talking about how cool swords are and never stops. The group is forced to sneak out of the trading camp during his endless raving. <laughs> wow, Angel! We don't have the car anymore! Angel! Giant armies of undead per per perpetually lurk around the Canadian border, unable to cross. The group gets crowded up in a lesser swarm before they can find a uh, safe camp. Oh boy, hideout and house. Could very well be the end of everything. And if we all die here, it is all Angel's fault. Until- Oh god, until you are in Canada, do you hear me? You will not die, not like this. <laughs> You will survive! Come on, David and Angel! I may have been the first person to die in this series, but you guys won't! I believe in you! <laughs> Except for Angel, because, you know, you're a, really a douche, but but everyone else! Yeah, doorway, yes! Come on, come on! Do you want to leave the location? Let's, let's go! Angel and Alan, okay, no, don't, don't leave them behind. Come on, come on. What? Who just died? Someone just died! You want to leave? Oh, God! Alan died! No! Oh, they ate our dog! <laughs> dog. Nearly at the border of Canada, the group is surrounded by seemingly endless undead. To survive, they must face the last battle siege. It's the final siege, but not the last battle. Oh, nothing! Oh, this it's like the final music, and it's just so casual. Yeah. Alright. Come on. It's four hours, but we can do it. Never mind, they're coming out of the ground. Let's just slowly make our way along the road. It's four hours, which is a ludicrous amount of time. But I believe, come on, <laughs> we need like a fast trigger finger. Not even an hour is, is passed yet, and we're all gonna die. I don't think an hour is passed, maybe it has. Nope, that, that's bad. All right, go around, go around, go around. Come on, come on, all or nothing, all or nothing. <laughs> all right, we looped around. All right, almost. <sighs> It's almost over. Well, it's not actually. That's a lie. I'm sorry. Death Road. Yeah. 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 Shoot. Yeah. Out of ammo. Okay, that's not good. That's when things start getting bad. Yeah. All right. All right. Now we just need to avoid. All right. Now we just need to avoid. Oh, God. All right. Run. Runner over here. Yeah. All right, David. It's all up to you, man. I don't know what's going on with Harper and Angel, but they're definitely gonna die. Oh god, there goes one of them. I don't- I think I- Oh, they're both dead! Oh, they're both dead! Eat their zombie- or eat their bodies! David, it's just you left! I believe Angel's dead! Angel and the dog! Oh, come on! Oh, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea! Don't get cornered, don't get cornered! Don't get cornered! No! No! 350! No! <laughs> Welp. I, I can't believe it. Those stupid zombies that decide to come out of the floor. Why? Why is that a thing in this game? Zom- that's not- <laughs> Zombies don't come out of the floor. That hasn't been a thing since like... 1990. <laughs> Why? They all- it was literally 10 more minutes, which is the equivalent of 10 seconds. It's- uh, We're all dead now.
I hate this. I'm not letting that leave off there. We're getting to Canada. That was the closest I've ever gotten in this game. And it just had to be the last 10 seconds. But on the bright side, I guess, now that, you know, now that everyone's dead and we have to restart, the bright side is that a lot more characters are going to be available to encounter. I mean, yeah, there's going to be a ton of more people. So I guess this, oh, I'll call this, we'll just call this Death Road to Canada Attempt 1, alright? Alright, well, uh, that was an episode. Thanks for watching. Sorry, Angel and David and Harper. God, I feel so bad for Harper the most. Harper, Harper let Seven get a sneeze out before Seven died. I don't, I don't think I left that in my video, but yeah, see, he let uh, Harper get a sneeze out. He was useful. Man. And then Alan died. Ugh. Alright. Well. Okay. Say